Now, I've gotten questions in the past where growers ask, does molasses burn your plants or can it burn your plants? And the answer to that is... What's up, everybody? If you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and welcome to my channel. Let's talk about molasses, particularly incorporating molasses into your garden. I've been growing for a little over 10 years now, and I actually just started incorporating molasses in my garden uh, about two years ago. And molasses, it's not a nutrient that you're feeding your plant. It's actually a sugar that you're feeding the soil, specifically the microorganisms that are living in the soil. This video isn't meant to be everything there is to know about molasses. It's meant to give you a general overview of how to incorporate molasses into your garden. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is molasses, talk about the different types of molasses, sulfured versus unsulfured. Then I'll get into the dosage and when to feed molasses. So first off, what is molasses? Molasses is a dark substance that's made during the sugar refinement process. Sugar cane, or sugar beet juice, is boiled down into a syrup. Once the sugar crystals are extracted, the syrup that remains, that's molasses. There are several different types of molasses. They vary in both sweetness as well as the way that they are extracted. Not all types of molasses is actually suitable for your garden. Some molasses is very low quality and contains additives and preservatives that you don't want in your garden. If you're going to incorporate molasses in your garden, make sure it's organic molasses. Now let's talk about the different types of molasses. They range in color from lighter to darker to blackstrap molasses. I personally use blackstrap molasses. It's denser and thicker than the other types. The reason why that I use blackstrap molasses is because it has the highest concentration of vitamins, uh, micro and macro elements. I actually have the type of molasses that I use right here, organic blackstrap molasses, unsulfured, and this contains calcium, iron, and potassium as well. Sulfured versus unsulfured, like I just mentioned, I use unsulfured molasses. Some molasses made from sugarcane can have sulfur dioxide added. That's why it's called sulfured. And the sulfur dioxide acts as a preservative to keep it fresh. However, it does have a negative effect, uh, particularly when using it in your garden. Sulfur dioxide, it actually kills off the microorganisms in the soil. And we don't want to kill off the beneficial microorganisms in the soil. We very much want to keep them alive. So if you are going to incorporate molasses into your garden, make sure it's unsulfured and like I said before, organic. Now as far as dosage, there are various opinions on what the dosage should be. I personally use one tablespoon of molasses per gallon of water. That's what I've heard from Oaksterdam University. But I do know growers that go on the lighter side uh, down as low as one teaspoon of molasses per gallon of water. So somewhere in that range is fine. Now I've gotten questions in the past where growers ask, does molasses burn your plants or can it burn your plants? And the answer to that is no, because again, it's not a nutrient that your plant is uptaking. It's a sugar that's being fed to the microorganisms in the soil. Now when you're mixing molasses into water, the thicker molasses can be difficult to mix into the water. First of all, make sure you're using dechlorinated water, uh, pH the water. And then what I usually do is I'll take out, I'll scoop out about a pint of water out of that gallon. Uh, I'll actually put it onto the stove and warm up that, not to the point of boiling, but just a little bit warmer. Then I'll mix into the molasses to that warmed up water. And then I'll mix in that warmed up water with molasses into the remaining water. So yeah, warming up the water a little bit just helps the molasses mix in a little better. When should you feed molasses? That's another thing that there's various opinions on. I've personally experienced feeding molasses in different stages of growth. Seedling stage, veg stage, I've fed molasses during those time periods. Plants were happy, but I feel like flowering stage is most beneficial. This is just my opinion. I'm sure there are growers out there that would disagree with me. Really, it's safe to use molasses at any point of the grow. Some growers like to flush their plant at the end of the grow. You can use molasses during that flush period, whether it be a one week flush, two week flush, or whatever. I'd love to know, do you use molasses in your grow? If so, when do you use it and at what dosage? Let me know down in the comment section below. For those of you brand new to growing, I did write a book specifically for beginners. It's geared towards indoor growing and covers growing in soil and in cocoa core. I'll leave a link to where you can buy my book down in the description section below, and I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.